So it recently came to my attention that a lot of people are asking about where do I do my workout? Where do we film? How does all this work? The magic that is Dark Horse. I'm here to tell you it's phenomenal. We uh, basically have this luxurious dirt alleyway which leads into our garage. So I figured I'd give you a little garage workout tour. Um, also to hopefully inspire you to build out your own because frankly, does your car really need this much space? Let it park on the street unless you're driving like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. In that case, one, good for you. Two, yeah, keep it protected. Or park it on the street and just put a car cover on it. I'm sure it's the same thing. What I have in my garage gym, number one, I have foam mats for my child so that she can play on the garage floor out here and it's comfortable for her. Also, I can pen her in like a small animal when I need her to stay in place so that I can do a workout. That serves twofold. One, it keeps her occupied, maybe screaming at times, but two, it also shows her that fitness is a part of our everyday life and that message I like. Especially if you have children, build out your own home gym. It doesn't have to be anything beautiful or amazing. I mean, look at ours. I still have French drains that I need to install in our backyard overlapping my airdyne. I don't care. I have foam mats. Those also serve when I have to do floor routines. So Turkish get-ups or sit-ups or planks or whatever it may be. I'm using my kids foam mats. Also in a beautiful checkered pattern designed by yours truly. The skier and the rower. Hopefully a bike will get added to that soon, but in the time being, an airdyne. Salt bike, if you want to swap that out, let me know. Hit me up. Then I have an allotment of dumbbells. Now this one's actually pretty important. I would highly encourage you guys to do something like this. I have oops, uh, clips screwed in and anchored to the wall at three different heights. I have about eye level, hip, and knee. So I have those clips so that I can basically do any kind of pulling or I can anchor to something if I want to do ring rows or in this instance, I sometimes use the crossover symmetry system for scap work. I can clip that to the wall and I can get good pull work. You see I have my uh, assault bike, my Airdyne, again, assault bike, call me. I have my old Schwinn Airdyne, which I bought for $25 on Craigslist. Yes, $25, and it's beautiful as the day it, it came out of the box. I have an M pack. It's called the, it's the Evolved Motion Pack. I highly encourage this. I, as you guys know, if you've seen a lot of our videos, I love sandbags for strength work. They're so versatile. They're the best midline stability work. I prefer them to a barbell and plates and because you can modify the weight and they're more weird. So your body has to learn a little bit better. So I use the M pack, which is, Right there, this guy. It comes with these bladders and you fill them with sand or water and you can make it as heavy or as light as you want. Now, the upside is it has handles all over it. So I was doing Turkish get-ups with these yesterday. My wife was doing back squats. I've done carries in the front rack. I've done lunges, I've done overhead presses. It has handles on pretty much everywhere and you just add these weighted bladders to make it as heavy as you want, um, I'm a huge fan. The m in particular, uh, I've used it for quite some time. Oh, the beautiful part about it is it's actually a backpack. So it has straps that can remove, so you can travel with it. You empty the bladders, they take up very little space. And wherever you go, you have a weight bag that you can use, a sandbag, if you will, or a water bag. So you can get in a strength workout pretty much anywhere. A nice standard, just band for mobility work. Nothing fancy, pick these up on Amazon. You can see I've got my crossover symmetry, it teaches you what to do with it. Of course, I keep an assortment of jump ropes. I use both RPM ropes as well as RX ropes. I have amazing ropes from both. I highly encourage both companies. RX ropes. Next, I have a jump rope. There are two companies that I absolutely love. Number one is RPM and number two, RX gear. Both companies make fantastic jump ropes and I'm a big advocate of basically taking a jump rope with me everywhere I go. That's like the one tool that I always carry with me is a jump rope because no matter what, you can always get a killer workout with a jump rope. That's pretty much my gym. This will get added to, oh, I do have a bike erg. I forgot about that. That's my bike erg until Concept2 sends me a bike erg. Um, <laughs> 
It works just as well. Unfortunately, my ERG data doesn't connect to it very well. It doesn't have Bluetooth functionality yet. Um, but I would say, guys, consider building out your own home gym. There's really no reason to consume it with car space when fitness should be a part of your lifestyle. This is a great way to do it, cheap, easy. My neighbor across the street has done the same thing except he's done it with his backyard. He has rings hanging from a tree and sometimes I see him pushing a sled through the dirt alleyway. That's amazing and that's exactly the type of fitness I like. Um, so this is my little corner. A lot of our videos are filmed in here. So we've kind of set it up to be perfect for us and to be able to demonstrate and do the stuff that we want. It, once or twice a week at least, we're working out in here. My wife and I and my child is on the mats, penned up like a little animal. So build out your home gym. Let me know what you've done with yours in the notes below. Uh, and then also I'll link to the products that I use here because I'm just a huge fan. So I highly encourage you, A, get a jump rope, have that everywhere with you. Um, and then ski erg, erg, bike erg, a salt bike, pick one, or Airdyne, God, a salt bike, call me. Uh, Airdyne, you can pick it up on Craigslist, find a cheap one. Um, yeah, that's my gym, guys. Uh, I just thought you might enjoy the walkthrough. And until next time, we'll see you on the other side.